Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the new Let's Play. It is Persona 3 portable version, because I, I can't get a PS2 to record, and mine doesn't work. So, we're doing the portable version, we're playing on an emulator on my computer. Now, I have played a little bit of this, but I have not gone very far. I think I got to, like, late April in-game, in but uh, I plan to get to that point and then play blind from then on out. So, I know you're supposed to shoot yourself in the head as, like, a major mechanic in this game. It's kind of weird. Um, so a couple of initial things. I intend for my late game party, I know, I know a couple of things, I know a couple of things. I know that, or I know that there's a bunch of weird social links, I know who the party members are, uh, and I've heard a couple of rumors that I don't think I believe. Anyway though, I plan to get the robot lady as a car as one of my party members. And I plan to get the dog as a party member, and I plan to have Junpei stay with the party. So you can see the dog! Look at the dog! Okay. Uh, you guys probably missed the dog, I should point it out sooner. Uh, anyway though, this is Persona. Persona 3. This is supposed to be the one that really is starting to get in the series some legs. Uh, anyway though, I've got, I've got to delete my file real quick. Hello? Press any button. There we go. Okay. Uh, I'll just hit new game and then save over my thing. Welcome to Persona 3. If you choose a girl, you get a whole different storyline. It's supposed to be sort of an extra spin on Persona 3. It's supposed to be good if you've played the original, if you played the one on the PS2, which I haven't. So I'm going to play as the boy. <laughs> Yeah, which I'm going to play it on easy difficulty because I want to freaking beat this game that I have I have never beaten a Persona game before or a Shin Megami Tensei game. And I plan, er, and hopefully I can beat this all in almost one sitting. <sighs> anyway, though, I, I'm not sure I'm going to be very good at this game because I don't think I'm going to do a lot of the social links. Time never waits. It delivers all equally to the same end. You who wish to safeguard the future, however limited it may be, you will be given one year. Go forth without falter, for your with your heart as your guide. All right, let's boogie. Terminal Station. Evening. The station entrance is buzzing with activity. Meanwhile, elsewhere... I just... put it to my head, pull the trigger. No chickening out. Hey, you guys remember at the start of this video when I was like, yeah, the, there are some strong themes of suicide in this game. Um, hey, <laughs> there they are. Inside the new city passenger train, Anehazuru. Cool, we're going to Iwa Todai. Iwa Todai. This is the final train bound for Tatsumi Port Island. Please take care to board before our departure. Please get on the train if you want to go somewhere. 
if you do not get on the train, we cannot make you move through the train via the train. It is almost midnight. I arrived late. You're going to be seeing that a lot. Something about the atmosphere seems odd. Mm -hmm. It would probably be best to hurry to the dorm. As you walk from the station, you notice coffins. <laughs> Coffin-like objects? Those are just coffins, dude. Lining the deserted city. gigantic moon. It's gonna crash into Clock Town. Is Clock Town the name of the town in Majora's Mask? I think it's Clock Town? I could be wrong, whatever. Gekko Khan High School, Iwatodai Dorm. This is the dorm mentioned in your admission pamphlet. Welcome. You're late. I've been waiting a long time. An unknown boy is holding a piece of paper out to you. If you want to proceed, then please sign here. It's a contract. There's no need to be scared. Okay, so... It only binds you to accepting full, full responsibility, responsibility for, for your actions. actions. My character is clearly underage in this game. Which makes this contract not legally binding, actually. Which I'm not sure that matters since I'm talking to an obviously to a obviously convi convict uh, ghost child sort of deal thing. This guy who randomly appeared in my new house. So, I chooseth this fate of mine own free will. Below it is a blank to sign your name. Oh, okay. So this this game's weird because it requires that you have a first name and a last name, and that screwed me up. I had problems trying to find the last or trying to figure out what that second row of spaces was for. C A N. So now I gotta figure what what, what I want to do for my last name. Uh, looking, yeah, let's. Uh, that's not it. Oh, there's no blank. There's no blank. Okay. <laughs> Pelican, please sub. <laughs> uh, what's my start button? What's, what's the start button again in this? Um, um, uh, um, um. There we go! Yeah, I found it! I found it! Okay, Pelican, please sub. I don't Very think well. please sub ever actually comes up in this game, like, at all. I think people just call me Pelican. I'm sure that's more relevant in the Japanese version, but whatever. Time is something no one can escape. It delivers us all to the same end. Wishing won't make it go away. Okay, it's a friggin' contract, dude. Thanks, Nietzsche. And so it begins. Yo, Socrates is a freaking paper. The unknown boy disappeared as if melting into the darkness. Who's there? How can you be... But it's... I sincerely hope all of you can hear 
the voice acting in this game because some of it's actually decent. Like I don't, I don't mind a lot of the voices in this game. Don't tell me. Of course, I wish that they would stop using that very that whole Japanese sort of deal where you're just intentionally big. Don't tell me Wait. you just trail off in the middle of your sentence all the freaking time. <gasps> anyway, that bugs me a lot. The lights. I didn't think you'd arrive so late. My name is Mitsuru Kirijo. I'm one of the students who live in the storm. Who's he? He's a transfer student. It was a last minute decision to assign him here. To a girl's dorm. He'll eventually be moved to a room in the boy's dorm. Which, man, okay. I don't see why they bother calling this the girl's dorm. Because only like three other people live here and one of them's a dude. Is it okay for him to be here? I guess we'll see. This is Yukari Takeba. She'll be a junior this spring, just like you. Hi, I'm Yukari. Okay. I'm not gonna, okay. Nice to meet you is a boring answer. And frankly, I feel like we have some more relevant questions to ask. Like, is this the girl's dorm? And why do you have a gun? <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna ask, why do you have a gun? That seems like a very questionable thing to have in a school. Huh? Um, well, it's sort of like a hobby. Isn't that illegal in Japan to, like, just own, casually own weapons? Well, not a hobby, but you know how it is these days. It's for self-defense. Is that why she's carrying a freak? Oh, whatever. You could just, like, take up judo. <laughs> oh, whatever. It's not a real gun, of course. Then what's the point of it? <laughs> It's getting late, so you should get some rest. That answered none of my questions. <laughs> if it's not it a real gun, then it should the actually be self-defense. <laughs> what, what are you gonna do? Use your <laughs> use your Nerf oh, darts on it? <laughs> I'll show you the way. Follow me. Get them with your Nerf darts. <laughs> this is it. Pretty easy okay. to remember, huh? Since right it's right at the end, end of the, the hall. hall. So. Ooh, ooh, okay, okay, okay. Um, oh, we get another relevant question. So, I'm kind of disappointed that on these, hey, do you have any questions, things that you can't ask more than one question? But I suppose that's that's how it goes. What's that contract for, or uh, does this kid live, does that kid live here too? Uh, let's see, does that, uh, contract. Huh? What's this about a contract? I appreciate how the dialogue and the line don't match up. Also, there's a distinct possibility. I'm in charge of a phone today. Like, of a business phone. Anyway, though, if it, it, it might go off. I'll try to edit that out. But it's probably going to be going off occasionally throughout the day. But it, it, it's been quiet right now, so that's just good. What contract? She already said what contract! <laughs> She's no clue what I'm on um, about. Can I ask you something? On your way here from the station, was everything, everything okay? okay? She actually does have a pretty cute voice. You what do know you mean? what I never mind. There's there's no option of dialogue there that says, Hey, there were freaking coffins everywhere. Oh whoops. It seems like you're alright. Well, I better get going. Okay. Um, I'm sure you still have other questions, but let's save them for later, okay? I will never be able to answer my questions. I would also like to point out that it's about 1 in the morning at this point. This is your assigned room. I must say, the music in this game is top notch. So, just going over the things we got in our room, we can go outside. We got a mirror, right? Now, let's just look at our beautiful anime boy face. We have a desk where we can study, you know, for cool. Yeah, a TV, which in this version, in the portable version, watching the TV show doesn't take energy or doesn't take up time. So you feel free to do that at any point. I might do that occasionally, but I'm I'm not I'm not super familiar with it. You got the calendar, the only actual thing we can use, right? And this tracks lunar cycles, you know, for your moon sickness. But 
on all the other stuff. You are tired today. You should go to bed early, right? You are tired today. You should go to bed early. Anyway, so we should go to bed. The only other thing we can do is to sleep. Anyway, Tuesday, April 7th, 2009. It's Yukari. Are you awake? Let's get the door. Good morning. Did you sleep okay? Mitsuru Senpai asked me to take you to school. Yeah, also, so the honorifics feel like they get in the way a little bit at the time. Are you ready to go? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, then let's go. It was like, there's a character later who calls her Tan, like the, or calls Yukari Tan, like the suffix, or with the honorific Tan, which is supposed to be like a more diminutive form of Chan, so it's like real cutesy, like kindergartner, right? But he ends up calling her Yucatan, which is a freaking peninsula where Guatemala is. <laughs> that bugs me a lot, because he says it all the time. New City Passenger Train, Ane Hazuru. We have to take the monorail to get there. Bet your last school wasn't like that, huh? How would you know? This is my favorite part, when it feels like you're gliding over the sea. Uh, forgive my indifference. But no, Our like, monorails are decently common. <laughs> From there, we walk. Have you ever heard of Tatsumi Port Island? It's a man-made island. They built our school right in the middle. Well, clearly I've heard of it if I had an admissions pamphlet. Oh, look, you can see it now. It's not like I was just assigned here randomly. Morning. Morning. Well, here we are. Welcome to Gekukan High. You're going to love it here. Ugh. Shouldn't this be handled by, like, okay someone here, right? in the student council? <laughs> or, I don't know, literally anyone you else? You go to your homeroom teacher first. The faculty office is right there to the left. And that concludes the tour. Do you have any questions before I go? Uh, let's see, what class are you in? I don't know, I haven't looked at the classroom assignments yet. Hey, about last night, don't tell anyone what you saw. Okay. That's not suspicious at all. See you later. Bye. Okay. So we got a bunch of we got a bunch of people we can talk to, right? But I don't really care. These guys don't say anything useful. I can't find your name. Look for it again. There's a small note with your name on it. <laughs> I forgot I said please sub. Class F. Uh, Yukari Takaba is also on the list. Yeah, of course it is. Anyway, though, so there's a couple things you can do. This guy is, I, this guy, I remember him being funky. Kids these days don't know how to show respect for their elders. We're their teachers. We've lived longer than them. Oh, yeah, you're closer to being a corpse, dude. But Moriyama and her gang had to pull that on me at the very beginning of the term. I'm sorry, sir, but I have to go. It's time to place my order. Even you're showing me away some kind. There's some way to start the school year. I don't think my nerves can take this. All right, I get it. You want me to order more than cream breads? Could have just asked. Friggin' say what you mean, dude. Okay. Oh man, some of the teachers in this game are gems. Yes! <laughs> a man wearing a kabuto who looks like a teacher is talking to a foreign male student. Do you see? Every man must have passionate, the passionate samurai spirit within him. <laughs> At our school, we encourage our students to think like samurai in order to accomplish great things. <laughs> this dude's awesome. That's fantastic. The teachings of Bushido are important then as they are now. <laughs> hon, hon, hon. Why does he have a fan? Okay. Also, I ran into this guy on my first playthrough of this game. I ran into these two. And I think I figured out what the Kabuto guy does. He shows up for, like, history class. He's your history teacher. But I haven't run into this French dude again. I haven't run into him twice. Yes, 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 you may not be a native of this land, but the spirit of the samurai flows through you just the same. Anybody playing the game on this version is going to... is not going to be a Japanese native. It's kind of immersion breaking a little bit. They didn't even try. <laughs> okay. And we got her. What would she say? Ooh! Ooh, I like this girl. I hope she's not evil. I want I want her to join my party. 
she is kawaii as heck. Strange, I saw the map, but where am I? That seems questionable. Yeah, you're, the library's right there. Okay, so that's the nurse's office. Faculty office, here we go. Let's go. Oh, are you the new student? Pelican plus <laughs> 11th grade, correct? Uh, for those of you who are British or whatever, that's a junior. Wait, I guess the British guys would be the only ones who would get that. For the Americans out there, that's a junior. They're just flipping wow, through pages in a file. In a lot of different places. I, personally, in real life, have not. Let's see. In 1999, that was what, uh, 10 years ago? Your parents... <gasps> Nami! I'm sorry. I've been so busy I didn't have time to read this beforehand. Then why choose to read it right in front of him instead of going to class and then going from there or whatever? I'm Miss Toriyumi. I teach composition. Welcome to our school. I also have no idea what composition is. I'm pretty sure that's English or whatever. It's native language writing, so I guess that'd be Japanese in this version. Let's see. Nice to meet you. Let's, wow, such enthusiasm. Let, let's be happy. Have you seen the classroom assignments? You're, You're a 2F. two F. That's, That's my, my class. class. But first, we need to go to the auditorium. The welcoming ceremony will be starting soon. Follow me. 